In 1869, Friedrich Miescher isolated an acidic material from the nucleus of a cell and called it nuclein, now known as nucleic acids. Also around the same time, Gregor Mendel proposed the principles of inheritance. In fact, Gregor Mendel, Thomas Hunt Morgan, Walter Sutton and numerous other scientists had narrowed their search for genetic material to chromosomes. However, as chromosomes of eukaryotes contain several proteins along with DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, scientists couldn't exactly confirm whether the genetic material was DNA or proteins or both. By around 1926, the search for the mechanism of inheritance of genetic material had reached the molecular level, yet the genetic material had still not been discovered. However, in 1928, Frederick Griffith, a British scientist, conducted an experiment that accidentally demonstrated the transformation of genetic material in bacteria. In fact, Frederick Griffith was in the process of developing a vaccine against the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae that caused pneumonia by inoculating the dead microbes along similar lines of Louis Pasteur's experiments on vaccination. Frederick grew the bacteria in a culture plate and found that they were of two forms, the smooth and the rough. This was because the smooth shiny colonies or the S strain of the bacteria possessed a mucus or a polysaccharide coat, while the rough colonies or the R strain had no such coat. Further, when the mice were injected with the S strain, they died of pneumonia infection, while those injected with the R strain did not develop pneumonia. This proved that the S strain of bacteria was virulent or lethal, while the R strain was harmless. Moreover, Frederick also found that heating killed the bacteria. So when he injected heat-killed S strain bacteria into the mice, they did not die. On the other hand, when he injected a mixture of R strain bacteria and heat-killed S strain bacteria, the mice died. Surprisingly, he even recovered the living S strain of bacteria from the dead mice. So on the basis of this experiment, Frederick concluded that the heat killed S strain bacteria had somehow transformed the R strain bacteria. He also concluded that the reason why the R strain bacteria produced a smooth polysaccharide coat and became lethal or virulent was because of the transfer of some genetic material from the heat-killed S-strain bacteria. However, there was still no means to ascertain or identify the genetic material that was transferred and responsible for the transformation process. Later, after 16 years, in 1944, a team of three scientists, Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod, and Macklin McCarty once again began research on the experiment that was once conducted by Frederick. At that time, they tried to identify the biochemical nature of the transforming principle in Frederick's experiment. For this, the scientists first purified biochemicals such as proteins, DNA, and RNA or ribonucleic acid from the heat-killed S-strain bacteria. They did so to identify the biochemical responsible for transforming the live R-strain into S-strain bacterial cells. Through their experiments, they discovered that it was the DNA from the S-strain bacteria that had transformed the R-strain bacteria. They also found that digestion of the DNA of heat-killed S-strain with DNAs 
inhibited transformation. Further, the scientists also discovered that addition of proteases or protein digesting enzymes and RNases or RNA digesting enzymes did not affect the transformation. This led to the conclusion that proteins or RNA were not transforming substances and implied that DNA was the cause for the transformation. Thus, through their experiments, Oswald Avery, Colin McLeod and Macklin McCarty concluded that DNA is the hereditary material in most living organisms. Nevertheless, many biologists were still unconvinced that DNA is the hereditary material. And so the search for genetic material continued for several years and was concluded with the discovery of DNA.